It's getting there. Um, tell it every time you do it, you know. Is his train of last name Brandon? Yeah, Brandon. Brandon. It's coming up the bat, number 15, Trenton, Brandon. Just got to imagine everybody naked, man. It's working. Really? Yeah. Now I just gotta figure out how to turn the camera around. <laughs> I just like to yourself. Have you, have you gone to edit yet? Yeah, that's where it tells me about the description, uh, scheduling. Could just flip around the computer and look at it once. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. So I can't figure it out. That's a webcam, but. I'm surprised it's progress y'all already made. Yeah. I hate dealing with the technology stuff. What's this? Share live stream. And stream. Pretty sure we're live on it right now. Mm -hmm. Yeah. I know you face it towards the field, right? Screech. Now batting number 45, Jaden Jordan. Strikers? Um, I've got my TJ and Tom. It's got crooked, but. Oh, I'm gonna go a little high, but is Hayden hitting now? It's not bad. You'd rather be high than what? Wait, this is Hayden? Yeah, you gotta remember the uh, live stream is. <laughs> I'll start calling this as soon as we uh, get sweat transition. Down, so you got a fan over there? Keep that up so you can see what we're looking at. Yeah, if you don't mind. Right, appreciate it. Keep working on it. What do you do now? Just, like, just one? I'm going to wait till we transition to start fresh. Where are we in the bottom of the second? Uh, yes. Yeah. Okay, so Five top. Of yeah, top of the third, I'll switch it. His name is Mason, not Hayden. I don't know if you just read wrong or something, but I need to make a sheet. Coach sent me. We need to type out a sheet. Like, get a few sheets typed out and just, like, yeah. Yeah. yeah for sure. I just imagine last year, like all the fall and spring, I did it all without a roster. You're insane. <laughs> Parker could back me up on that. I did walkout songs without a roster. I was like, who's that right there? Remember Tony Robert Trevino? My boy. Mexican Drake down there? My boy. My real. 
Yeah. 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 Now batting number twenty, Robert Trevino. Oh, that was good. That was crispy. Eventually, I'll get to where I can kind of put my own spice into it. You need to just whisper it.
Right, which inning? Which inning is just scoring? I don't think they scored in the second inning. They definitely scored in the first inning. All right, I'm on mute. Then. All right, and welcome to the top of the third here at Stanley James Field as the Black and Cardinal teams face off here as we are one week away from the start of the season. As Lucas Alday will lead off here in the top of the third is currently 5-1. Yes. 5-1 with the uh, Cardinal team in the lead. And starting pitcher for the Cardinals is going to be Walter Green, and that's going to be flied out to right field. Preston is underneath to make the catch for out number one and easy out to begin the top of the third. I'm adding center fielder, Landon Moore. And up next is going to be Landon Moore, number 26, playing in center field today for the black team. As it is 4-1. to one. With the home team in the lead, so the black team trying to create some offense right here. Green with the pitch. It's going to be downstairs. Forty-eight players are on this team for Coastal Alabama, the Sun Chiefs, and the majority of their players come from Alabama. But there's a couple of players, and this that is rocketed to deep left field, and will stay in play, and it'll go. And that's going to be a catch down the left field line for out number two. So Landon Moore is also retired quickly. And now it's going to be Cody All Ferguson. Right, stop. Cody Ferguson. Cody Ferguson with the bases empty with two outs here in the top of the third inning. 5 1 lead for the Cardinals. And there's a couple of 6 A area two players representing. Coastal Alabama, the Sun Chiefs this year. Dalton Neuschwander, number 44 from Spanish Fort. Number 17, Parker Christensen from Gulf Shores. Number 19, Lucas Alday, who retired, was retired, the first bat retired here in the top of the third inning. He split his time in high school in Daphne and Bayside. Number 21, Sam McIntosh from Gulf Shores. Baymanette, Hunter Odom. And that's going to be a ground ball to Trevino. Throw to first. It is in time, and the size retires. We head to the bottom of the third. Still five-one Cardinals. I have to take that one off. Okay. Um, What's his name? Preston what? Welch. And welcome back to the bottom of the third inning. Leading off number 18, Preston Welchel. Preston Welchel will step into the box as the Cardinals try to extend their lead. Dalton Neuschwander is now in at pitcher. Swing and a miss from Preston. Number 30. 
as he is playing in right field today for the Cardinals. New Schwanner was 0-1 pitch. It's going to be outside for ball one. Beautiful day here today at Coastal Alabama as we're one week away from the start of the season against Coastal or Central Alabama Community College as that pitch is inside for ball two. It's going to be a 2-1 count. Just wonder, trying to get an early out. Zach will be in for a strike. Counts to me even at two balls, two strikes. Zach Wilson playing at first base is on deck for the Cardinal team. 2-2 two -two pitch from Nushwander. It's going to be hit into the gap into left center field. That is going to be flagged and caught from John Bernard for out number one. Out batting first baseman Zach Wilson. Is that his name? Zach Wilson would come in. As last year, Coastal Alabama finished the season out with a 4 and 16 record before COVID uh, hit. As that pitch is in for strike counts for me, 0 and 1. They were 3 and 3 against conference play last year. And that pitch is perfectly down the middle for strike number two. As Nishwanders quickly up in the count, 0 and 2 against Zach Wilson. 0-2 pitch. It's going to be outside. As Coast of Alabama, Sun Chiefs were winless from February 5th through March 6th, but found a way to win a couple of games before the season had to come to an end. Our pitch is going to be downstairs. They'll even up the count two apiece. Some key wins for Coast, for the Sun Chiefs last year, Chattanooga Valley, Lurwin B. Wallace, and Pensacola State Community College. They were able to find a way to win. It's going to be inside. It's going to be a three and two count. Some cheats using multiple pitchers today in the scrimmage. Nishwander is unable to get an out right there, and that will result in a one out walk. Zach Wilson will take number 15, Trenton Brennan. Trenton Brennan, the designated hitter, will come in with a runner on first. One out here in the bottom of the third inning. First pitch right down the middle for strike one. So out of the 48 players that are on the Sun Chiefs roster this year, majority of them, like I said, go to Al are from Alabama. Got a couple players from Mississippi, Louisiana, Florida, two players from Georgia, and also from Texas. We also have one player from New York. So it's gonna be downstairs, gonna be a one and one count. Jaden Jordan, number 15, is on deck for the Cardinal team. And that is going to be a fly ball in the shell, left center field, and that will drop in for a base hit as Trenton Bannon is able to get his first hit of the afternoon. Runners will be on first and second with one out. Out batting, left fielder, Jaden Jordan. Jane Jordan playing in left field today for the Cardinal team. He has a chance to extend the lead for the Cardinal team with runners on first and second. Nushwander trying to get out his jam. Hopefully he can cause a double play. Ground ball. This will go to Ferguson. Flips over to second. Throw to first. Not in time, but they will get the force out at second. Two down with runners on the corners. Now batting catcher Mason Parker. It'll be Mason Parker up next to bat with two outs, runners on the corners for the Cardinals. And a 5-1 lead. They had an early offensive spring early in this game in the first inning. While the black team came back and scored one run in the first inning. Five runs scored by the Cardinal team in the bottom of the second inning. First pitch is going to be downstairs. Good block. Trenton Bannon will advance to second off of the wild pitch from Nishwander. Behind the play for the black team is going to be Chris Mansell. Yeah. And Chris Mansell behind the dish. Base hit right here will make a 7-1 game if it gets to the outfield. It's going to be a 1-0 count. 
Mason Parker, number 22. The 1 0 pitch. It's going to be fouled off. Count will be even at one ball, one strike. Now, as we take a look at the players that are from the state of Texas, it's going to be number 29, Zach Wilson. He is a sophomore here at Coastal Alabama South. Boys in the infield, he's from Hazlet, Texas. He went to Easton High School before coming over here to Coastal Alabama. Nice curveball right there from New Schwanner. It's going to be a one and two count. Trying to retire to side and leave runners on third and second. To give a black team a chance heading into the fourth inning. One two pitch. It's going to be downstairs. Gets away from Kurtz Mansell, and a run will come in the score for the Cardinals to extend their lead six to one. As Zach Wilson will come in the score, 6 1. Off of the wild pitch from Dalton Nishwander. Brandon will advance to third, 90 feet away from the seventh run of the game for the Cardinals. Count is 2 and 2. Still to Mason Parker, the opposite catcher. 2 2 pitch. Ground ball right to the third baseman, able to control the hop all day in the third of first in time to retire side. Run comes in the score for the Cardinal team, six to one as we head into the fourth inning. <laughs> Leading off the inning, number 27, Landon Singley. And we're back for the top of the fourth inning as the Black team tried to cut into the lead that the Cardinals extended. Six to one is the score. Landon Singley, number 27, will lead off for the Black team. And the first pitch here in the fourth inning is going to be upstairs for ball number one. And the other Texas player that we wanted to note today was number 20, Robert Trevino. He's also a sophomore here at Coastal Alabama. So that pitch is upstairs. As he plays in infield, he's from Cypress, Texas, and he went to Frontier Community College or high school. He went to one of those. 2 0 pitch will be inside for ball three. Landon Singley looks for his first base hit of the afternoon. 
And Matt Wilkinett for strike number one here in this at bat. Fifth pitch of this at bat coming up. Nestling is singling. As Mellon number 24, the designated hitter, is on deck. Pitch is downstairs. That will be a five pitch at bat. That will result in a leadoff walk here in the top of the fourth inning. Now we're at number 24, Hawking Meelan. Hawking Meelan up next to bat. We're a runner on first with no outs here in the top of the fourth inning. Also looking for his first base hit of the afternoon. Pitching so far is Salter Green. This pitch is going to be inside for ball number one. Black team trying to find a way to get back in this game after trailing early in the game. Swing and a miss from Mellon. Troy Davis Jr., number 32, is on deck for the black team. As this is the third scrimmage, I believe, this so far in this train camp for the Sun Chiefs. It's going to be upstairs, tag up at first, not in time. Be a two and one count. Take a look at the starting lineup for the Cardinals in the outfield. Jaden Jordan's in left field. Dylan Reeds is in center field. Preston Wetchell is over in right field with Salter Green as the starting pitcher here today. It's going to be downstairs. Gets a wave from Parker, sliding into second. As that will be a wild pitch credit to Green. Uh, single, is a, single is able to advance to second in scoring position. Shortstop is going to be Robert Trevino. Brennan Sion will be at second baseman. Zach Wilson at first base. Hunter Odom at third. And Heaton Parker will be, or Parker, as that is going to be fouled off from Allen. Mason Parker. For Hawkins, it's Malin. Okay. Yeah, Parker will be behind the dish. And Trenton Brennan will be the designated hitter for the Cardinal team. Singly on second. Mellon. Swing and a miss. And he will be retired by Green for the first out here in the top of the fourth inning. Now having first baseman Troy Davis Jr. It'll be Troy Davis Jr. up next to bat, playing at first base. So funny because he goes by TJ. <laughs> Trying to find a way to put the black team on the board here on the top of the fourth inning, trailing by five. And the bitch is going to be foul ball to the right side, out of play. Count start out 0 and 1. Salter Green. In the bullpen for the uh, Cardinals, they got Meadows, Boykin, Baker, and Shira in the bullpen as they're away in their chance here in the scrimmage. That will be a little flare into right field, and that will drop in for a base hit. Landon singly will stay at second, but that will be a single into right field for. Troy Davis Jr. Now batting number 14, Jason Norris. A singly was trying to see if Preston Wetchell was going to make the catch over into right field. Preston lost sight of it in the sun. And singly was near second base when Wetchell was able to come up with the ball into right field. So he will remain at second, but still runners on first and second with one out. This is Jason Norris. We'll let the first pitch go upstairs for ball one. Hunter Bettner is on deck for the black team. Runners on first and second. And a 6-1 game. Green taking a look. Singly over at second base. Pitch is going to be outside. So we have 2-0 count to begin the at-bat for Jason Norris. Number 14 for the Sun Sheets this year. So 
2-0 pitch from Meadows, I mean, foul off from Norris. After a five-run inning for the Cardinals in the bottom of the second inning, it's been a good defensive game so far, a couple base runners for each team. Meadows will deliver his 2-1 pitch, and that'll be a foul tip for strike number two. Singley on second, Troy Davis Jr. on at first. Jason Norris trying to cut into the lead for black team. 2-2 two -two pitch from Meadows. That will be in for strike three, back to back, or two ring outs here in the top of the fourth inning. Two down with runners on first and second. Now batting second baseman, Hunter Bettner. Hunter Bettner trying to keep the inning alive for the black team, trailing by five runs. Two ring outs so far in this inning for Meadows. Keeping a close eye on singly at second. It's going to be downstairs for ball one. Currently 3 o'clock here at Stanley James Field. Beautiful afternoon, Friday afternoon here in Coastal Alabama. It's coming a ground ball chopper to stay on clean hop. And a good throw over the first two retired side, keeping two base runners on. We'll be back for the bottom of the fourth. Six one Cardinals. Yeah. Leading off the inning, number 42, Jeremiah Martin. And we're back here at Stanley James Field here in the bottom of the fourth inning. Cardinals with a 6-1 lead. This will be Jeremiah Martin coming in, facing off against Dalton Neuschwanner, who is back in the pitcher's position for the second straight inning in a row. Gave up one run in that last inning. And he'll start this at bat with a 2-0 count to Martin. Brenton Sion, number one, is on deck for the Cardinals. 2-0 pitch from Nushwander is going to be fouled off. Getting a piece of that was Martin. As Dylan Reeves is able to retrieve the foul ball. 2-1 pitch. It's going to be a ground ball right to all day. Has trouble with it. His throw is not in time. That will be an error to Lucas Alday over at third base. Nice line drive hit, and that will result in early infield uh, single. Number one, Brandon Sihon. Okay, so what they're doing line, they're just skipping Rob. Okay. Brenton Sion, we're a runner on first. No outs here in the bottom of the fourth inning. First pitch almost clipped him, and that will be in for ball number one. 
Lucas Alde is seeing a good amount of action over there at third base. Pick off attempt at first. Safe as the call. But a close call over there at first base if Martin was able to beat the throw by Lucas Alde. That pitch is also inside. Counts going to be 2 and 0. Oh. Two balls and zero strikes. Dylan Reeves is on deck. All right, check down that first. This one downstairs. No outs here in the bottom of the fourth inning. As we in catches the bottom right hand corner of the strike zone. It's going to be a two and one count. Nushwander delivers. Hard hit base hit into the gap into the left center field. Takes a crazy hob. Jeremiah Martin is going to go all the way home. And the throw will not be cut off. And it will be an RBI double. And the lead is now 7 to 1. Cardinals in the lead. Oh, man. Lead off hitter, Dylan Reeves. Brenton Sion with the RBI double is going to be a 7-1 game. It's Dylan Reeds with a 2-RBI double earlier in this game. He'll have a chance with a runner on second with no outs. See, so Dalton Neuschwander is able to find a way to get out of this inning. Bunt attempt by Reeds. Will go down as a strike as he's unable to connect. Number four playing in center field today for, for the Cardinal team. He has Brent, Brenton Sion on second after hitting that two RBI. This will be popped up in the infield. Lucas all day calls for and makes the catch for out number one. As Reeves is retired. No batting, third baseman. Hunter Odom. Hunter Odom will come up. The former Baymanette Tiger had a great career with them. Was able to beat Spanish Fort once. And he had a great game against them with three RBIs. And he also was one of the main star players for the team. Dalton Nishwinner and Hunter Odom have played against each other. Spanish Fort versus Baymanette over the last couple of years. And they'll be teammates this year for the Sun Chiefs. Count is currently 0-1. Swing and a miss. Odom unable to connect. He is number 33 for today's game. Playing at third base. Preston Welchill is on deck for the Cardinal team. Hunter had a ground out on his last at bat. And he hits a ground ball. Nice diving play, but unable to control it. They get the play at first. Nice play over there from Hunter Bettner. And they'll get the second out here in. No, 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 no. Preston Welchel. In the bottom of the fourth inning, this would be Preston Welchel, who flew out into left field on his last at bat. Yes, Brenton Sion on third for the Cardinal team. Nishwander's first pitch is going to be downstairs. Good block right there from Chris Mansell. As Hunter Owen with back to back ground outs on his last two previous at bats. Did he check the swing? Yes, he did. It's going to be a 2 0 count. Zach Wilson is on deck for the Cardinals. Runner on third, four, Preston Wetchell. Pitches outside. Good dive attempt right there from Chris Mansell to avoid the eighth run of this game given up by the black team. It's going to be a 3-0 count to Wetchell. That is going to be in for a stride. Noosh Warner able to connect. We had three three balls and one strike count to Wetchell. Two outs here in the bottom of the fourth inning. Just want to call time.
three one pitch upstairs for a ball four runners will be on the corners with two outs now batting first baseman Zach Wilson Zach Wilson will come up next to bat with runners on the corners he is number 29 playing at first base today for the Cardinals Schwerner trying to get out of this inning after giving up another run. Line drive, unable to make the catch. It's Cody Ferguson, and it will go into left field. An RBI single by Zach Wilson. The Cardinals have extended their lead to 8-1. to one. Now batting number 15, Trenton Brandon. Trenton Brandon will come up. 8-1 lead. And the Cardinals, for the third consecutive inning, have registered a run. Scored five in the second inning, one last inning, and now two so far with two outs here in the bottom of the fourth inning. Line drive. This will go into the gap to left center field. Drops in for a base save. Play by John Bernard, and a run will come in to score. And it is now 9-1 to one as Dalton Dishwinder is starting to get lit up here early in the bottom of the fourth inning. It is 9-1. to one. Okay. Jordan. Trenton Brennan with an RBI single. Runner still first and second. Jaden Jordan will come out as he hit into a fielder's choice on this last at bat. Newswaner's first pitch and we fouled off. Last two pitches before that pitch was thrown by Dalton Newswaner was back to back singles into left center field by Trenton Brennan and Zach Wilson. Nine to one, three run score. This is going to be hit again into left center field. That will not be caught. Goes all the way to the wall. One run will score. And they're trying for another run, and it's just going to be an easy play at home for two retired aside. Four runs coming to score for the Cardinals. It is 10 to 1. That will be an RBI single by Jaden Jordan. 10 1. We'll be right back for the fifth inning. And since the red team, the Cardinals, were able to have a 10-1 lead heading in the top of the fifth inning, we are going to restart a new game. Meadows will be the starting pitcher for this game after pitching the final two innings of the brief five-inning game that we had earlier. 
So we got a new game coming up. And that will be a swing and a miss. Counts one one. Yeah. Yeah, it's gonna be an even one ball, one strike. Meadows with the pitch. It's gonna be downstairs. Good block right there. From Parker. This is a two and one count. Two balls, one strike. No outs here in the first inning. And that is going to clip off the batter, and that will be a leadoff walk here to begin the first inning. Top of the first. No batting left fielder, John Bernard. That was Chris Mansell that was just hit by a pitch. John Menard will come in. We're a runner on first. No outs here in the top of the first inning. And was keeping a close eye on Mansell over at first. It's going to be a bunt down the left field line. Will it stay fair? It is going to be a foul ball. So count will start out 0 and 1. The John Menard with Landon Moore on deck for the black team. So the score is going to be it's scoreless right now since we restarted the game after the Cardinal team was able to put up four runs in the end of the bottom of the fifth inning. It's going to be an 0-1 count. But down the right field line, this one will be fair. And that will be a nice sacrifice bunt right there from John Bernard. Now batting with third baseman, Lucas Alday. Lucas Alday will come up next to bat four. The black team with a runner on second. As Alday flew out in the infield his last time to the opposite third baseman. Mansell still on at second base. Nice curveball right there from Meadows. Start the at bat out 0 and 1. Lucas Alday will play at Daphne and Bayside Academy as he split his high school career with those two ball clubs. 0 1 count. He has a chopper and unable to make the play is the opposite third baseman, Hunter Odom. Runners will be at the corners. Lucas Alday is going to halt back to first base. Now batting the leadoff hitter, Landon Moore. As Landon Moore, the leadoff hitter, will come up the bat with runners on the corners. Unable to make that play was Hunter Odom as that chopper is able to make it all the way to the left fielder, Jaden Jordan. Runners on the corners. Landon Moore flew out on his last at bat for the black team back in the first game where we we're in the top of the second inning. He has a chance to put the black team in the lead. Meadows first pitch at this at bat. He's going to be rocketed into the gap into left center field. This one is going to go up against the wall. And it will be an RBI single by Landon Moore and the black team strike first here in this new game here in the first inning. Cody Ferguson. It will be a one nothing lead here for the black team. Cody Ferguson up next to bat. On his last at bat in the previous game, he ground out to the shortstop. Runners on first and second. one nothing lead here for the black team as we went five complete innings, or four complete innings, I believe. Meadows pitches downstairs. Good eye right there from Cody Ferguson, number 31. Playing at shortstop today for the black team. First and second. Ground ball, base hit up the middle. 
And that will bring home yet another run for the black team. Play at third. Did they get to him? No. Slide. Nice slide right there. Two nothing black team. That will be an RBI single right up the middle by Cody Ferguson. Two nothing black. Now having the right fielder number 27, Landon Singley. Landon Singley will come up the bat number 27. Runners on third and second. It's Landon Moore and Cody Ferguson with bat to bat RBI singles. This is going to be a ground ball. This will be played by Trevino. He will not have a play over at first, and another run will come in. 3 nothing. Black team. Infield single. Let's see. <laughs> Still in the first inning, a three nothing lead here for the black team. And that will go in for a strike. Counts for me. O oh and one. Runners on first and second. Three nothing. Three straight RBI singles by Landon Moore, Cody Ferguson, and Landon Singley. The 0 1 pitch. Swing and a miss. As Mellon is able to fall in the count. 0 and 2. Landon Moore was able to come in after that RBI infield single. So Cody Ferguson at second. Landon Singley on at first. 0 and 2 is the count. Meadows with a tough inning here in the top of the first inning. 0-2 pitch. Upstairs for ball one. Troy Davis Jr., number 32, is on deck for the black team. And the one two pitch. Both runners are going, and a nice dive play. Toss over to first is in time for out number two. Run will come in as four nothing as the black team extend their lead. Okay, first baseman Troy Davis Jr. Troy Davis. Troy Davis Jr. will come out with a runner on second. Two outs here. Had an RBI or had a single on his last at bat in the previous game. Four nothing lead. Ground ball chopper. Sion plays it perfectly off the hop. Third to first is in time, and the side is retired. Not after. Four runs coming to score for the black team here in the top of the first. We head to the bottom of the first. Four nothing black.
Now we're adding number 22, Mason Parker. And we're back here in the bottom of the first inning. 4 nothing lead here for the black team. Dalton Neuschwander delivers a pitch downstairs for ball one. As it is 4 nothing lead. The black team lost the first game 10-1, to but a quick start to make it 4 nothing. Another pitch from Neuschwander's downstairs for ball two. It's going to be a 2 0 -oh count. Cardinals trying to respond. Another pitch from Neuschwander is going to be off target. 3 0 -oh count. As this is Mason Parker to lead off here in the bottom of the first inning. 3 0 -oh pitch. Downstairs, and Nishwanner is unable to connect on any strikes on that first at bat. Four pitch at bat will be a leadoff walk for Parker. Now, batting number 42, Jeremiah Martin. Jeremiah Martin comes up the bat. We're a runner on first. No outs here in the bottom of the first inning. Dalton Nishwanner, button attempt from. Martin unable to connect. Counts and start out 0 and 1. As the black team take a look at their starting lineup, John Bernard's going to be in left field. Landon Moore in center field. Glenn Singley will be in right field. Swing and a miss. Martin unable to connect. And in the end field for the black team, Lucas Alday at third. Cody Ferguson at shortstop. Hunter Bettner is going to be at second base. Troy Davis Jr. will be. At first base, Chris Mansell will be at catcher. That will be in for a strike, and now will be a ring up for Dalton Nushwinder, out number one here in the bottom of the first inning. Now batting number one, Brennan Sion. Brennan Sion with a runner on first, one out here in the bottom of the first inning. Dalton Nushwinder. At 45 strikeouts in his senior season. And a foul tip from Sion with the Spanish War Toros. Has two strikeouts here today from game one and now here in this new fresh game in game two. As the Cardinals have their work cut out for them. Down 4 nothing early. 0-1 oh, pitch. It's going to be skied up into shallow left center field. Landon Moore is there to make the catch for out number two. Now batting the leadoff hitter, number four, Dylan Reeves. So Dylan Reeves, who also skied into left center field his last at bat, has a chance to redeem himself or a runner on first. Two outs here in the bottom of the first inning. He went one for three in this last game with two flyouts and a two RBI double. First pitch is going to be inside for ball number one. Hunter Odom is on deck for the Cardinals. Here's a 1 0 pitch from Neuschwander. In for a strike. Catches the top left corner of the strike zone off of his fastball. 1-1 I mean, one, one count to Dylan Reeves. Check down that first. Mason Parker on at first. That pitch will go outside for ball two. It's going to be a 2-1 count. Dylan Reeves leading off for the Cardinals. Playing in center field. And the 2 1 pitch. It's going to be a line drive right to the third baseman, Lucas Alde, and that will retire side. 4 0 Cardinals after one inning.
Commenting, extra hitter number 14, Jason Norris. And what about to Stanley James Field here in the top of the second inning? Jason Norris, number 14, will lead off. First pitch is going to be right down the middle for a strike. Number 10. Luke, Luke Boykin. It'll be Luke Boykin coming in to relieve Meadows after one inning. And that will be an 0 and 2 count to begin this at bat for Norris as he was caught looking on his last at bat in the last game. Richard Bettner is on deck. You have to pitch. This is going to be skied into right field. Preston Wetchell is camped underneath, makes the catch for out number one. Coming up now, second baseman, Hunter Bettner. Now Hunter Bettner will come up, playing at second base today for the black team. Gets his first strike. 4 nothing lead here for the black team here in the top of the second inning. Luke Boykin delivers his first pitch. It's going to be upstairs for ball number one. Mason Parker behind the dish for the Cardinals. The 1-0 pitch. It's going to be a line drive. Unable to make the play. Sion gets away from the first baseman, Zach Wilson. And that will be an E6 straight to the Sion as he was unable to control it off the hop. And it's through, unable to make it to Zach Wilson. Now batting catcher number 13, Chris Mansell. And now Chris Mansell with a runner off first. One out here in the top of the second inning. This pitch will go outside. It's going to be a 1 0 count to Chris Mansell. Okay, who's it? Who's it? Runner off first. Side. John Menard will be on deck for the black team. One oh count. Here's a pitch. Now search for ball two. Another good block right there from Mason Parker. Black team trying to extend their lead after an excellent first inning. It'll get the job done with four, with four runs stored in the top of the first inning. 2-0 pitch, right down the middle by Boykin. It's going to be a 2-1 count. Time has been called from Chris Mantle, number 13 for the Sun Chiefs. The opposite catcher here in today's game. Swing in the mess. That will even up the count at two balls and two strikes. Mantle unable to connect off of that fastball right there from Luke Boykin. Two-two pitch outside, and actually there's a three-two count, full count. So runners will be on first and second. Where will go? Now batting left fielder John Bernard. So John Bernard with an opportunity right here for the black team. Already up four nothing. Runners on first and second. Hunter Bettner, and that will be another fly ball in the shallow right center field. Ryan Dillon Reeves with another catch. Two down here in the top of the second inning. Now having center fielder Lucas Alde. Now, Lucas all day. Runners on second first. Two outs here in the top of the second inning. Flew out on his last at bat. Boykins pitch it. Connects in the bottom right-hand corner. 
That's going to be 0 and 1. Bettner on second. Chris Mansell is on at first. Line drive and almost caught by the second baseman. They're going to send the runner home, and it'll be 5 nothing black as they extend the lead. So Landon Moore will come up the bat, which is all day when RBI single into right field. As Hunter Bettner is able to come and score, and this is the complete opposite of the first game we played. Uh, only lasted four innings. And Landon Moore with an RBI single on his last at bat. Runners on the corners, two outs. Good curveball right there from Boykin, and it'll be an 0 and 1 count to begin the at bat. Cody Ferguson. Is on deck for the black team. Mansell is over at third, and Lucas Alday is on first. And stealing for second is Alday. He is safe. It was a double steal as the runner off of third, Chris Mansell, comes in the score. It is now six to nothing. Black team. Lucas Alday is going to be credited with a stolen base. Chris Mance will come and score for a run as this game has quickly turned in the way the black team hoped they could do in the restart. Sits nothing. It's going to be a 1-1 count. Lucas Alday now on at second. More swings and misses. One and two is going to be the count. Bolkin trying to end this inning while any more damage by the black team. Swing in a miss. Unable to control as Parker. He'll throw the first and the side is retired. Two runs coming to score for the black team. We head to the bottom of the second. Black team in the lead. Leading off number 33, Hunter Odom. <laughs> and we're back here in the bottom of the second. Hunter Odom to lead off for the Cardinals, trailing six to nothing. First pitch. It's going to be upstairs for ball one. Yeah. 
We got one O count. And smack down the right field line for a base hit by Hunter Odom. He'll go all the way to the wall. Odom is going to slide in for a leadoff double here in the bottom of the second inning. right fielder, Preston So now the Cardinals off to an excellent start to begin this bottom of the second inning. It's Preston Wetchel. We're a runner on second. And the first pitch slides in for a strike. Counts for me 0 and 1. It's Preston Wetchel with a couple of decent at bats in the first game, and now he's going to have a chance to put the Cardinals on the board, trailing 6 to nothing. In four strikes. Put in the hole is Preston Wetchel, number 30, 0 and 2, is going to make the count. A runner on second. Hunter Odom with that leadoff double. So far, both teams have been able to hit into the gaps or down the line so far in this game. And we've seen a couple of great doubles so far here today. 0 2 pitch. Upstairs for ball one. It's going to be a one and two count. Presser Wetchel with Zach Wilson on deck for the Cardinals. The one two pitch. Ground ball. And a toss over the first. Did he beat it? No, he did not. For out number one, but it does advance. The runner, Hunter Odom, over two third in storm position, 90 feet away from the Cardinals striking and striking on the scoreboard. The first base, the number 29, Zach Wilson. Now Zach Wilson with an opportunity where a runner on third. Six nothing lead for the black team. Cardinals trying to get on the scoreboard here in the bottom of the second inning. It's going to be downstairs, but a good block by Chris Mansell. It's a 1 0 count. One out here in the bottom of the second. Another good block right there from Mansell as that pitch goes downstairs. It's going to be an early 2 0 advantage for Zach Wilson. Trentzel. Trenton Brannon, number 15, is on deck. 2 0 is the count. It's going to be inside. So we have 3 0 count. So we'll see if Zach Wilson has the green light right here. 3 0 count. That will connect in the bottom right hand corner to keep the at bat alive. Trying to battle his way back in as the pitcher for the black team. 31 pitch, swing in the miss, and now it's going to be a full count for Zach Wilson to work with as he had an RBI single down the right field line on his last at bat in the previous game where the Cardinal team won the game 10-1. to 3-2 pitch. Swing and a miss for out number two. Ring up right there. Two down with a runner on third. Oh, man, number 15, designated hitter, Trenton Brandon. It's Trenton Brandon with a runner on third. Guys, this one foul and out of play. Count starts out 0 and 1.
And the 0-1 pitch. It's going to be downstairs for ball one. It's Trenton Brandon. He's had a good day at the plate so far. Two hits off of three at-bats. Both singles. See if he can get his first extra base hit of the afternoon. And the 1-1 pitch drops downstairs. 2-1. Hunter Odom with a leadoff double, but the last two batters ground out in a strikeout. 1-1 one, one pitch. Gets away from Mansell, but Odom's just going to backtrack back to third base. It's going to be a 2-1 count. Jaden Jordan is on deck for the Cardinals. The 2 1 pitch or 3 1 pitch, or actually, this is going to be a strike right there. Trenton Brandon will remain at this at bat. Count is 3 and 2, a full count pitch right here. Two down here in the bottom of the second inning. He has a ground ball. Play the first is end time. And that will retire to size. Still sits nothing in favor of the black team. And we're back here in the top of the third inning as Cody Ferguson to lead off for the black team. Six nothing is the score. Boykin back in the pitcher's position. He delivers a first pitch strike for strike one. Ferguson with an RBI single on his last at bat to extend the lead as it was an excellent first inning for the black team. 0 1 pitch. Boykin, and that will be hit down the right field line, but this will drop foul. So Ferguson will quickly be in the hole 0 and 2 as Boykin is able to have tried to start out with a better inning than he had the last two innings. Sits so nothing lead here for the Black team, Cardinal team, trying to get on the scoreboard. They left a runner on third to end the bottom of the second inning as Hunter Odom had a leadoff double, but they were not able to contribute to the scoreboard. 0-2 pitch. Boykin, this is going to be a chopper. Played by the shortstop. A nice play over at first base to get the first inning, 6-3.
Out adding the right fielder, Landon Singley. Sion with the throw over to his first baseman, Zach Wilson. So Landon Singley with the bases empty with one out here in the top of the third inning. Boykin's first pitch. It's going to be downstairs for ball one. Number 24, Meland is on deck. 1-0 pitch. Barely getting a piece of that. And hurt on the play singly. I think he hurt his shin right there after making contact with the ball. And it was an easy ground out for out number two. And he is still unable to walk. Oh, count. 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 Oh, in the dirt for ball number one. So it's a 1 0 count. This is going to be Meland. Mellon. Yeah, right. First time they It's going to be in. It's going to be even one ball and one strike. Lance Singley seeing some attention over in the black dugout. Looks like he should be okay to go. That will connect for a strike. It's going to be one and two counts. Milan trying to stay alive at this bat. The designated hitter for today's game for the black team. One out still. Good eye right there from Milan. It's going to be even at two balls and two strikes. Troy Davis Jr., number 32, is on deck. 2-2 two -two pitch. Boykin. This will be a line drive into center field for a base hit. And Meewan able to connect the designated hitter. Now adding the right fielder, Landon Singley. Anybody got the archer for this? No. Is it dead? Yeah, it's uh, it's a battery. 